Hello aviators, welcome back to another episode of A Junior Mechanic. Today, we're gonna talk about another type of maintenance forms and publications, the Service Bulletin or SB. A Service Bulletin also known as SB, is a notice to an aircraft operator from a manufacturer, informing him or her of a product improvement. Service Bulletins often result to issue in of airworthiness directives by FAA. An airworthiness directive references the alert service bulletin as a way of complying with the AD. Here is an example of a service bulletin. In here, you can see the details of modifications for a new product release which can be embodied in an aircraft. An SB document structure may vary from manufacturer to another, but all SB should contain the main titles as it's important to understand and comply with SB. Service bulletins are issued by the manufacturer to fix a safety issue, to avoid a potential maintenance errors, to increase product reliability, to ease product maintenance ability, to add a new feature, to introduce a wholly new product exchange to the old one, to enhance aircraft engine or any other product design, to enhance aircraft engine or any other product performance, and to provide a modification which extend product life. What are the types of service bulletins? First is the mandatory service bulletins. Through the DOA, Design Organization Approval, Oversight Process, the agency promotes that TC or STC holders designate a service bulletin, SB, as mandatory only if it is known to them that this SB will also be covered by an airworthiness directives. Next is the alert service bulletins. It is issued by the manufacturer when a condition exists that the manufacturer feels is a safety-related item, as opposed to just a product improvement. These SBs usually result in the FAA or EASA issuing an AD. The AD will reference the alert service bulletin as a method of compliance with the airworthiness directive. Next is Service Information Directive, SID. It is the service documents that have been determined by the manufacturer to be of value to an owner-operator in the use of a product by enhancing safety, maintenance or economy. And lastly, the Service Information Letters, SIL. This category includes all information that may be of use to the owner, operator or maintainer of the aircraft. If a service bulletin is not an alert service bulletin or a bulletin referenced in an AD, it becomes optional and may or may not be incorporated by the operator. Do you know any other types of aircraft maintenance forms? Let us know in the comment section below, also be sure to check our other videos, the airworthiness directives. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.